In the straight running position, the skis are kept parallel and close together with one ski slightly advanced. The knees must be pressed forward and remain elastic and supple, acting as shock absorbers for whatever may cross your way. The body is pitched forward, but fairly upright, relaxed and balanced, with the weight equally distributed on both skis. Look ahead, not down at your ski tips, and keep your poles by all means lined up behind you and not pointed toward the body. The fists holding the poles are advanced and will be helpful in regulating your lateral balance. Well, here are our two new recruits back from their first walk. They must have been doing all right to be promoted so quickly. Here they go. Johnson is somewhat off balance, it seems. Not quite forward enough, and Parker's knees are too stiff. That'll have to be corrected. Down he goes. Falling is no disgrace in itself, as the best skiers are forced to touch ground once in a while. If a fall is inevitable, take it easy and relax. To get back on your feet, Line up both skis across the slope and beneath you. With the help of the pole nearest to the slope, you push yourself up again. Climbing is also done with different steps according to the degree of the slope. The most common step for climbing is to traverse the slope with the normal sliding step, pointing both skis up the slope at a moderate angle. The herringbone is another step used to negotiate narrow passages or short direct ascents. Lift each ski alternately over the other one, with the ski tips far apart and the ends close together. The forward position of the knees gives a firm grip with both the inside edges and provides a solid stance. The spread of the tips will vary with the steepness of the slope. In the regular side step, the upper ski is lifted clear off the snow and placed a step above, and the lower ski follows. The knees are slightly tilted in towards the slope, thus gripping the snow with the edges, which will prevent any slipping. The whole pattern resembles a staircase, and the skier ascending it sideways instead of facing it. This step can be used with advantage for short climbs, or reversed, going down difficult and narrow passages. Combining the regular walking step with the side step will make you master of the most serviceable and generally used manner of climbing.